uh, these border towns are safe. It is not. Our ranch gate is 69 miles north of the bridge in Hidalgo that goes into uh, Reynosa, Mexico. A little over a day's walk. Well, actually, most of these people don't walk 69 miles. They all pay a criminal organization, mainly the cartels, uh, big money to be brought up here and let out uh, south of this Border Patrol checkpoint, four and a half miles south of our ranch on U.S. Highway 281. So they're all contributing to organized crime by paying large sums of money to be brought in here. And to give you an example, uh, the Chinese are paying 50000 the Indians are paying ten to 20000 all the Central Americans, the average is about 7000 So, and the Mexicans, uh, uh, especially Southern Mexico, are paying 3000 So it's a huge, huge uh, money event for the cartels, uh, probably even more lucrative than the drug business. What percentage are you seeing uh, from places other than South and Central America? The Border Patrol and Homeland Security categorize the people that are not from Mexico as other than Mexicans. And uh, prior to last night, uh, they were it was running about 73 percent of the people apprehended in the Rio Grande Valley or OTMs other than Mexican. Um, a lot of Central Americans, but really from all over the the world. And uh, we were informed last night that that number has escalated to 80 percent. So, uh, and this is this is a fact. So most of the people that we encounter here, a uh, larger percentage of them are people from other other countries other than Mexico. And we're not told about the special interest aliens. Uh, we have had Somalians here once they got on that special. Uh, uh, alien list, uh, they won't tell us that anymore, but there have been S Somalians, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Chinese, uh, you name it, we've had it here. <laughs> we've also uh, uh, found evidence that people from these uh, special interest countries, in particular Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran, um, uh, are coming through our property. Uh, during one of our Texas border volunteer operations last year, uh, we had a group of 10 uh, we spotted, uh, we followed them, uh, informed the Border Patrol where they were going to come out on the highway. Border Patrol were not able to respond fast enough. They got, they climbed the fence and uh, uh, loaded up and, and left and uh, were, were not caught. But as one of them was uh, climbing over the fence, he dropped uh, a package. And that package uh, was an Urdu dictionary. Urdu is a language uh, spoken in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And in that uh, uh, translation book, Urdu and English, there were a lot of phrases circled and outlined. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak English? You must pay in dollars. So we know that uh, special interest countries, in particular countries like Pakistan or Afghanistan that are not particularly friendly with our country, are slipping through here under the disguise of and under the uh, all this other uh, activity that's going on where these families are giving up and, and the Border Patrol uh, resources are being compromised. So it's, it's easier for them to slip through this private property. And uh, that's just one example. And uh, more recently, uh, uh, within the past two weeks, some Iranian money was found in a bailout vehicle. So we know they're coming in here. Besides that Iranian money being found in a bailout vehicle up here, uh, four Syrians, which is not, you know, public news yet, but four Syrians were apprehended on the Rio Grande River uh, a couple days ago. We're never divulged the special interest aliens. Uh, but I think it's time America gets alarmed. Uh, they are, they've already come through here. It's us as the humanitarian crisis, yeah. and it's an OTM crisis. It, it just take out the factor of the women and children. It's an other than Mexican crisis right now. We're you know, being invaded by third world country people, and in those third world country people are the special interest aliens. And it, it, our boor, borders are porous. They, they feel like they're wide open right now, and that, that's a dangerous scenario. But I did discover, and I think this is laid out very clearly in the blog, 
uh, that uh, among the, the human trafficking going on in Belize uh, is a large number of Lebanese males coming into the country with passports uh, from Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, uh, and are given brand new identities, brand new names, and using handlers handled off ultimately into America with a very dangerous package. Now that surprised me, that shocked me. Please join us tomorrow as we delve into the range of diseases making their way up from the Mexican U.S. border. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm John Bowne. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of super male vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new super female vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com. No warning signs that I'm aware of. Specific and it was a revelation that the White House had no intention of making public. President Bush was told in August that Osama bin Laden might be planning an attack involving the hijacking. could have predicted. Nobody in our government, at least. Uh, August 6th, uh, PDG. I believe the title was bin Laden determined to attack inside the United States. 70% of family members' questions were never answered during the 9-11 Commission report. The Hamilton and Thomas Keene said they were set up to fail. I mean, I'm a member of the Commission. It's a scam. It's absolutely disgusting. The questions, Mr. President. The questions. Building 7 ablaze at the moment and apparently getting ready to collapse. Building 7, free fall collapse. Well, no, there's number 7 coming down. The excitement and the fun that people get watching an old building being demolished and they wired very carefully for days and it's a very careful operation. Third time today. It's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. The smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull and then we watched the building collapse. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. We are As getting information see, now that one of the other buildings, Building 7 in the World Trade Center complex, is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. The Pentagon. Vanishing airplane. My close-up inspection, uh, there's no evidence of a plane having crashed anywhere near the Pentagon. The only site uh, is the actual uh, site of the building that's crashed in. And as I said, the only pieces left uh, that you can see are, are small enough that you could pick up in your hand. Uh, there are no large uh, tail sections, wing sections, uh, a fuselage, nothing like that anywhere around, which would indicate that the entire plane crashed into the side of the Pentagon. 
firefighters and police describing explosions. A lot of them. This is a secondary explosion. We've got numerous people covered with dust from the secondary explosion. Just floor by floor, it started popping out. It was, like, it was if, if it had detonated. Yeah, you know, it was if they were planned to yeah. take down a building. Boom, 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 boom. Looks sort of like the building just demolished. Even if there was no secondary explosives in the building. Kind of like gunfire. You know, bang, 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 bang. And then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. Do you know if it was an explosion or if it was a building collapse? To me, it sounded like it, it, to me, it sounded like an explosion. Chief Albert Turry told me that he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place, and then an hour after, there was another explosion in one of the towers here. Sibel Edmonds, FBI translator, breaking her gag order. All our intimate relationship with bin Laden and, and Taliban. We did carry very intimate relationship with these people all the way up to September 11. Bin Laden was spirited into this military hospital in Rawapendi for kidney dialysis treatment. The military had him surrounded. They were saying that Osama bin Laden had to be watched carefully and looked after. NORAD standing down. Where were the planes? on now to one of the eeriest moments amid the carnage of 9-11. A mysterious plane was seen flying right over the president's residence. The E-4Bs over New York and Washington, otherwise known as the doomsday planes. It has never been officially explained. Cell phones working at impossible altitudes. Solicitor General Ted Olson receiving phone calls that the FBI says were never made. What happened during that call? This is the only information we have on these terrorists. She was able to call him twice. How she could pull that off, we don't know, but she did. These are the questions, Mr. President. These are the questions. They go on and on. Good afternoon, Mr. President. I come to you today representing the families of the victims of September 11th, as well as millions of my fellow Americans. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to read my letter to you 20 minutes with the president, and if not, at least had its contents brought to your attention. We have questions, Mr. President, lots of questions. A lot of them are detailed in my letter, but trust me, there are hundreds of more questions. As my letter chronicles, sir, the 9-11 Commission itself says they were lied to, deceived, and essentially prevented from carrying out a real investigation. The people of the United States and the world demand the truth, sir. We have to continuously ask questions. That's what a patriot does. That's what a true American does. We ask questions. You, sir, have the power as well as the responsibility to initiate a truly independent congressional investigation into the events of 9-11 as well as its aftermath. We want our country back, Mr. President. Therefore, I'm not just calling on you and your team. I'm calling on each and every American citizen to wake up, stand up, and demand the truth. We're counting on you, Mr. President. Be on the right side of history. investigation must not interfere with the ongoing efforts to prevent the next attack. Senator Tom Daschle said last week that you called him several times and urged him not to investigate the events of September 11th. Tom's wrong. He has, a, I think, in this case, a, well, let's say a misinterpretation. Well, that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. Be sure to stop by printandplanet.tv and get your 15-day free trial. I'm Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.
celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees.